massive pile of CIA documents and files had been released by WikiLeaks. We are going over just the tips of this information that directly affects you. Vault 7 Tuesday, 7 March 2017 WikiLeaks released a massive amount of documents and files that were taken from the deepest secure networks of the CIA. Hacking tools and information including malware, viruses, trojans, weaponized, zero-day exploits, malware remote control systems, and associated documentation. These tools were being handed from person to person by government hackers in an unauthorized way, a lot like you would share a book or a movie with your friends. While the people handling and sharing them may not have intended for them to be leaked, all it took is for one person that felt that the people, you, needed to know to leak them. These tools and zero-day exploits were directly targeting iPhone, Android, Microsoft Windows OS, and smart TVs. The scope of the CIA's hacking and spying program almost rivals that of the NSA in its power to snoop. The CIA has put us all at risk with many of these techniques and tools that they possess. CIA Malware The CIA had malware developed by EDG, Engineering Development Group. Not only does EDG develop malware, it tests and provides technical support for backdoors, exploits, malicious payloads, trojans, viruses, and any other kind of malware used by the CIA in its covert operations worldwide. Samsung smart TVs were specifically targeted with a fake off mode so that the user would turn off their TVs, but the device would stay on. The TV would stay on so that the microphones could be activated and record everything said around it. Other tools in this range were designed to infect your car's computer system, however the reason for this has yet to be determined. The CIA has software to infect smartphones directly so as to bypass encryption of apps like WhatsApp, Signal, Telegram, Weibo, Confide, and Cloakman. The task was easy. They infected the device and record the audio directly from it. Then they transmit it to themselves before it is sent to the app and encrypted. They could also record the phone screen so that any text, Images, passwords, etc. could be transmitted and used against the person. Exploiting Windows, OS X, Linux, and Routers The CIA targeted Windows computers heavily as they hold the largest market share. Malware was designed to infect computers in new and scary ways that haven't even been thought of yet. Malware was designed to partition itself to a small section of the infected machine's hard drive so that it is excluded from the rest of the data. This helps avoid antivirus and anti-malware programs. Malware designed to jump the air gap was also made to target deep sections of thumb drives so that the malware could be passed to non-internet connected machines and networks. Another technique found in Vault 7 included images and memes with code embedded in them that could act as an installer for malware and the user would never know. None of the CIA software could be detected by consumer anti-malware programs for a few reasons. Consumer software isn't programmed to look for them and doesn't know they are there. Companies that develop antivirus and anti-malware software may have been forced to avoid the infections by the CIA. These tools act much like the smartphone and smart TV software mentioned before. The data present on the screen could be imaged and sent silently across the network to a waiting analyst. 
This could also allow the CIA to slowly scan all images and documents on the computer for any useful information. These infections could be active at this moment on any server or computer and we won't know until someone develops a tool to scan for them. Zero days. The CIA also hoarded zero day vulnerabilities. A zero day is a vulnerability in a piece of software that is unintentional but can nonetheless be exploited by anyone who knows it is there. The CIA has knowledge of and has discovered many zero day exploits in many large software companies like Apple, Google, Microsoft, Cisco, and many many more. The problem with zero days is that if the CIA has found these, then that means many other countries and hackers could and probably have too. These exploits allow the CIA and anyone else with the knowledge to easily hack in or access all of the device's information. Beyond the CIA knowing of these exploits, the information in the Vault 7 release indicates that the CIA has directly contacted the companies about the exploits and made them leave them in. They may have threatened legal action or paid these companies to leave them in, so that they may use them against anyone they wish. There is also evidence that they have used these against the world's major companies to collect information on anyone they want. The worst part yet is that any rogue hacker employed by the government could turn these exploits around and use them on the US government. Cyber War The CIA's main base of operations is in Virginia within the US, however, there are other bases around the world that they operate every day. The CIA also has a large presence in Frankfurt, Germany. This makes the job of forensics teams trying to locate the source of the hacks much more difficult as the traffic coming from the Frankfurt base is disguised with the rest of the country's traffic. The hackers that work in these bases are under diplomatic passports and have cover stories of working for the consulate. Cyber war and the tools that are created are nearly impossible to keep secret. The people who are creating and using the tools are intelligent enough to protect themselves from being discovered. There is a massive market around the globe for these hacking tools and exploits, so there is an equally massive incentive for the hackers to share or sell the tools. While the exploits the CIA has developed were intended for use outside the US mostly, there is clear evidence they are actively using them on us. We can only hope that the antivirus and anti-malware companies now do the right thing and develop tools to protect us. But even if they don't, you will likely never know you are infected. Now. Because the software has been leaked, anyone with the knowledge to use these tools can own just about any other person. Some of the malware created by the CIA cannot be removed even if you delete your OS and reinstall. You have to replace the entire computer. Thank you for watching. Click the icon below to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below.